All right. Welcome back. Or. And you're welcome for the first time. We're going to be playing this game. It's called Maria. Yeah, so that's the intro. And we'll play with the volume a little bit here. This is a game called Maria. Uh, Kimi no Tachi something or other. But don't, do, don't worry too much about that. Maria, why were you born? And of course, uh, we can continue or we can start from the beginning of the game. We're gonna be starting from the beginning. Um, one thing we've got is on the right side of our screen, we have the, uh, translation. Let's actually try to make this, uh, look a little bit nicer here. Let's go ahead and begin. Alright, X does not set. Maria, why were you born? Yeah, so this is some kind of horror game. ここは慈愛道病院。毎日のようにこの救急センターには休館が慌ただしく運ばれてくる。ある激しい雨に自殺を図った一人の少女が この病院に収容されたそしてこの青年医師が彼女の担当医になったまさかこの偶然が彼女と彼の運命を大きく揺さぶることになるとはこの時誰も気づかなかったおっと開始の時間だ Prologue. Extra care. So I don't know much about this game. In fact, I would say I know next to nothing except for the fact that the CG is pretty good, as you've seen. I'm glad my consciousness is back. Three days I kept sleeping. There is going to be a, a doctor here soon. We're, I guess we're playing as Maria. If anything happens, press this button. Well then. Nurse. Yeah? Um... Those flowers. Hmm. 
Those are the doctor's suggestion. I guess maybe it could be the teacher, but uh, I'm assuming it's the doctor's suggestion. By the time the buds open, you'll regain consciousness. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the doctor. I'm pleased. Oh, if you hear a rumor, that was the teacher or the doctor. And here's the titular character, Maria. When I opened the door, there was a beautiful girl with clear white skin in her clear eyes that seemed to be sucked in. It was Maria Tutsui, who just regained consciousness. Well, what should I start with? So it seems like we're playing a... Uh, sort of visual novel kind of game. So we'll be saving uh, maybe every now and then. Well, first of all, we should start with an introduction of ourselves, I think. First of all, my self-introduction. My name is Jun Takano. At the age of 26, he just finished training this year. I'm still a new foreign doctor. Today's my first day. Nice to meet you. And you are Maria Tsutsui. You're a 16 year old high school first year. My hobby is to sleep as much as the doctor is worried about. Then, do you talk to your friends? I hate talking. hate talking, <laughs> but the sleeping princess finally opened her mouth, didn't she? Well then, let's get to the main subject. Maria. It's the condition of your wounds. You used a piece of pottery to cut your left wrist. I did? Yeah, you don't remember. So, that's why I'm here. Yeah. I'm glad that I found it. I'm glad I got to you early. You were in a dangerous state, but now you're all right. There are no other anomalies, and I think you can be discharged when your physical strength recovers. Maria Tsutsui said nothing and looked depressed when I talked to her to relieve her feelings. No wonder. I think there was a lot of things that made her want to commit suicide. At times like this, words are surprisingly useless. You should leave it alone for now. How? 
when I heard there could be discharge soon, did you feel a little better? Huh. But if you're a patient like Maria, I guess you can stay in the hospital all that time. Huh? No, just a little soliloquy. What a weird doctor. Okay. What'd you say? No, it's nothing. Speaking of which, Break Together, it's a program called... There's a program called Break With Everyone, and the short chairman was eaten by a manju with wasabi, and he looked like this. Huh? Was it boring? Uh. I'll be practicing jokes by tomorrow. I hope you want to respond. Well, I wonder if it's time to leave before the sleeping princess is in a bad mood. Well then, sleeping princess, see you tomorrow. Doctor. What is it? About the flowers. I heard the nurse brought them. Yeah? So what? That rose. It's the teacher's suggestion. Ah, well, Otisan is talkative. But, it did make you feel better. Roses are my favorite flower. I'm glad you liked it. Well, until tomorrow. Tsui, who attempted suicide, was brought in and said, When I came, I was holding a piece of pottery firmly in my right hand. Apparently, she tried to use it to commit suicide. But why did she use it? What's more, strangely, this piece even has the name Maria written on it. Does this piece have a special meaning? Does it mean anything? No. It might have a meaning. some meaning. It's possible that she left some message around before she cut her wrist. Thinking about the future, I decided to save this piece of pottery. A few days later. Maria Tsutsui was still silent, but little by little she began to answer my questions. However, from around this time, reports of her suspicious behavior became more prominent.
She complained of a headache and called a nurse, and when the nurse came, she said, no one called. And she said she doesn't like milk because she doesn't like it, and annoys the nurse. I was there. She said she had taken the trouble to buy and drink at the vending machine in the hospital. The nurse cried, please be careful once from the teacher, but I was a little in trouble. This is because Maria Tsutsui, you see, and Maria Tsutsui as others see, were like different people. Despite my anxiety, another incident happened that night. Maria called a nurse in the middle of the night and suddenly began to scream, Get out of here soon! And Maria pushed down the nurse who tried to suppress her rampaging with great power. The nurse, who was slammed to the floor, was injured by cutting her head, but fortunately there was no bleeding and the wound itself was shallow. I couldn't believe that gentle Maria Tsutsui, who I know, would cause such an incident. However, it is true that the nurse was injured, and also there was a witness. The wound on her left wrist had reached to the nerves. Did that mean that she pushed the nurse down with one hand? How did she have such power in that thin body? What kind of secret is hidden in Maria Tsutsui, who suddenly behaves like a strange person? The nurse describes her as a bad girl with a lie. But there should be no reason for her to lie or behave violently to the nurses. It's better to be quiet and leave the hospital as soon as possible. That should be easier for her. After this incident, there was talk about, can Maria Tsutsui be hospitalized in the surgical ward as it is? As the doctor in charge, I will discuss the future of Maria and the director of this hospital, Dr. Kanda and the chief physician of Kuwahara. Oh, that's a great face. Director, what are you going to do? The patient. That's why we had to get them together today. What do you think of Maria Tetsui, Professor Kumara? I don't think it's possible to suddenly skip a nurse. I would like to ask you to take over such a violent patient immediately. And what about Professor Takano? Certainly, her behavior is a problem. But there must be some reason. Stupid. It's a misconduct girl with a bad behavior. So, in short, she wants attention. 
What happened to her parents? I haven't heard the details yet, but it seems that both of her parents died when she was small. Do you take responsibility for minors who don't have parents? That being said, she seems to be no better than herself, so I contacted the Youth Counseling Center. That's right. It's best to leave it to the facility to correct it. Really? Stuff that you can put in the facility? Director Sensei. I don't think I can do it. Parents and later, there is no one to be a spectator. Besides, the facility is not right now. <laughs> And when? Wait. Um. It's currently saying. It's telling him to wait. Yeah. It's still a long way off. Boom. I wish it hadn't come to the internal medicine department. And even Rampage. It's the one who takes care of you until your physical strength recovers. It's our duty. So you're sure you're going to the facility? If we can do it, then we will do what we can. Director Sensei. I have a request. What's wrong, Professor Takano? Your complexion is bad. You said that the director can do something for us now. Yes? While she's in the hospital, can you leave her mental care to me? Wait, wait. If you think you're gonna do what I think you're gonna do, that's no joke. It would be easier for the facility to understand her if there was something like a report. You also studied psychology and psychiatry when you were in college. Yes, originally you wanted to be a psych originally I wanted to be a psychiatrist. Besides, I got a qualification as a counselor. Professor Tonico, can you really take responsibility? Amateur therapy often exacerbates such mental illness. Come on, doctor. What are you doing? I used to work as an assistant to be a professional teacher. I'm not a complete amateur. Ho oh, ho! You're very confident. Mr. Director, please. Yeah, that's fine. I think this is a very conscientious measure. 
the doctor in charge. If there is a report, then that will do. It should be easy to talk to the child. However, as Mr. Kuwahara said, it is forbidden to overdo it. Then, after the general rounds are over, I will stop by her hospital room and give her counseling. That's fine. Thank you. During the meeting, I may have overstepped myself with Maria Tsutsui when I was when I was sixteen years old. Oh, he overlapped himself. Okay, so he's a He's remembering his own past as a 16-year-old. I became lonely for the rest of my life at the age of 16 when I was taken over by my mother's relative, the Takano family. My name before being taken over was Jun Yoshida. So I took on her counseling not knowing that it was the door of fate that drags me to the past. Good morning. How are you feeling? Yeah. Are you okay? Doctor, why are you asking? Yesterday, there was a nurse said I was injured. And that's about it. But why did that happen? I don't know. You don't know? I sometimes lose myself seems like. When I noticed that the nurse collapsed, then did you say that you were doing that unknowingly? You may not believe me. I'm sorry. Has that happened before? To someone I have never met in a crowd, or something I don't remember buying? And what else? There are many things I can't remember. Sometimes I know who I am, and sometimes it's not available. Maybe I'm just dreaming and I'm not really myself. <laughs> what is this? Sony. choppy and there aren't too many things that I can remember. I understand. Let's talk slowly about the interruption of your memory another time. Okay. 
to tell the nurse about the situation, so please take a rest. I'm sorry. Well, see you tomorrow. When I returned to the medical office, I was honestly confused. The fact that Maria Tsutsui heard the nurse and her testimony was that she was unconscious it was all too abrupt. If it was an excuse, she could have at least given a better one. Or... Does she just like to get people involved and make a fuss? Yitsutsui, I've seen, is Uen's girlfriend. <laughs> She's really a problem child who loves Kyojin? But that does not sound correct. I don't think we've met any Uen or Kyojin. Then... Then suicide is just a... Kyojin. the ambulance. Maria was alone and had nothing to do with herself. Is there anyone else in the house? On second thought, suicide is also in... What? Is she teasing me? say no, I don't think she's teasing us. Obviously, you know, we know, we know something's wrong with her. She, no, it's not. She's not the kind of girl who makes fun of people. That quiet demeanor, that calm way of speaking, I don't think she's acting. be another reason. The deepest reason to make her rampage behave strangely. In any case, I can't help thinking about it anymore. With counseling from tomorrow onwards, let's have some questions answered. So great. No. When you th when I think of the nurse, I feel so sorry. Hey Maria Chan, can I ask you a question? Okay. It's a little difficult question to ask. Was there anyone else in the house when you cut your wrist? No. After my grandmother died, I've been home alone the whole time. But... There was something. No, no. I disinfected her wrist and I left the room. That day, the one who was home was Maria. 
If so, was it Maria that called the ambulance? When I returned to the medical office, I sighed. <sighs> Don't abandon it. It was me who said that, but I'm not so sure. What's true? At that time, I got a call. Hello? Hey, Mr. Takano, how are you? That voice. Is that Honda? How'd you know? You can only say, hey, Takano, without saying your name. Is that so? I'm such a precious man. I didn't praise you. Well, no. Honda's been a friend of mine since he was a medical student, and he also works in the psychiatry department of the Jayado Hospital. He always has such a blurry attitude, but actually he's a mysterious person who is an excellent psychiatrist. What's wrong? Isn't it unusual? No, I wonder if you know rainbows if you're a computer geek. Oh, ask me anything about Rainbows 98. It's my favorite operating system. Do you use it? I don't recommend using rainbows. <laughs> Man, some harsh rainbows criticism here from our main character. It's easy to use, and if you buy it now, it's a great deal. With a built-in game, that's right. Alright, I'll think about it. That's right. I had something to ask you. What do you want to know? Actually, my patient is a child, and I'm a little worried. Stop it. It's not good to reach out to the patient. Do you find those kids cute? She's pretty cute. Doctor, you're 28 and she's 16. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's get in touch. That's not what I wanted to talk to you about. So what do you want to know? Just say it quickly. girl is sick. Well, I have a 16-year-old girl who behaves strangely to my, uh, as a patient. How strange. I explained Maria's strange behavior and her choppy memory so far. I don't think she's lying. She's usually a quiet and nice girl. You 
can't tell just by listening to your story. Uh, you don't need a doctor if you're just making noise. But... If I'm wrong... What if... What... If not, it's necessary to psychoanalyze the cause of that behavior. Ah, so it's that after all. In any case, people's hearts are not that simple. A little more worrying, listen to me, her past. short, I'm um, counseling her. Yeah. Yeah. In what environment has she lived for 16 years? Especially, is the relationship to both of her parents good? I'm feeling nostalgic. This is an area that we study a lot. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Just don't get too absorbed in it. Uh. If you don't understand the counseling, just leave the rest to an expert, okay? It may be exactly what Honda said. Come to think of it, I'm talking about Maria Tsutsui that I don't know. Starting tomorrow, let's ask about getting her counsel. Are you well? Yes. That's a very dull reply. I... I'm scared to think that I might hurt someone again. That's about it. But we're one more. Why don't you think about it? About what? That night. I hurt the nurse. Is that the night? Yeah. From where you can remember. That would be good. I think there was a chance of why it happened. What was the trigger? Anything is fine. Can you tell me what you can remember? But... Why did it happen? A actually, uh, I'll be taking charge of your counsel. Counseling? It's not that big of a deal. If you put it in horizontal letters, that need would be the cause, but I wonder if it, it's your counselor. We've also obtained permission from the director. You're a minor, and I'm worried that the hospital will leave you alone as it is. But... How could I... I'm 
just need you to tell me what you remember. Just talk and I'll verify what we've done so far. Was there something strange about that night? What I've got... What... what's changed? Huh. No, nothing in particular. Then, once again, that day, was there two people? Let's verify. I'm sure I felt very good that day. I wanted to. Somehow, I felt very good, but I was calling a nurse. Yeah, I don't know what to do, and and suddenly, someone started to move inside of me. Who? Yeah. Someone I didn't know started screaming in me. Someone was ordering me to do it! So then my limbs were moving freely. They moved on their own. Another act of rampaging, it's like a person looking at himself in a hurry. So... Yeah, I thought I had to stop. You can't do this! Then, and then, then a vase on the nurse's body crashed, so, so, and then, I'm crazy about it, the nurse collapsed while I was there. Is that it? Yeah. But what was wrong? My head. I feel warm. I think you're a little tired. That's enough for today. Let's take it easy. Returned to the medical office. What is hidden in her broken memory? Can counseling really find out the cause of her strange behavior? And the next day. And I think we'll end right here, and we'll pick up uh, next time. So what did we learn in this session? Well, Maria is a 16-year-old girl, seems to be attacking people at random, and forgetting things, and maybe she tried to kill herself. A piece of pottery with her own name on it? It's a bit odd. Other than that, we really know a lot about what's going on with Maria, so we've decided to take over as her counselor, despite not being a psychiatrist. I'm sure this is going to end well. So, uh, yeah, so that's enough for now, so I guess I will see you next time, and we'll, we'll keep going with Maria.